Good morning. It is Sunday morning, as usual. And what I'm doing this morning is I'm taking apart my clamps again so that I can get the second coat of finish on here. I can skip this, but uh, I know from the originals that I made, it works out better if you do it. Uh, the way <clears throat> the way you keep these on the sh on the shaft from slipping off is put a screw in the back here. You see, and that's what I'm taking out right now. So yeah, you take this uh, off, you slide that out, you break it down into its three basic component parts, and you can um, uh, sand it and brush on the finish. And I have these things numbered. Like when I made these, people said, well, you can make longer bars. But in actual fact, you need to at least, at the very least, keep this with this. Because they're kind of set up together. right? Not so much with these, as much as the longer ones that I made. Um, but in, in all cases, it's best to keep these as a set. So on this one, I have seven, seven, seven. If you're worried about... Like if you're wondering about the numbers in the video. Uh, but the video, I, I don't, like, uh, hasn't been out long yet. Um, but nobody noticed or nobody mentioned that the, uh, the voiceover is actually from the first video making these ones. I just didn't feel like, well, it's not that I didn't feel like it. I thought I could do it, and I thought it might be interesting to do. I do things occasionally because I think they're going to be interesting, just to see how it turns out and how much work it was. Because whenever you record a voiceover, it all gets cut up and put in, and sometimes it's, it's over machine sounds. Not very loud, but they're still there. And then you have to try to work in the other footage, and then... While I was out here filming this, I had to keep the, like I had to make a list of all the shots going through. So, yeah, I made a couple of changes to it. I changed the wood to from ash to oak, and I I did that in the voiceover, and uh, at the end there, as well. But yeah, that turned out to be more work <laughs> than uh, it seemed at first. So. I don't know that I'll do that again. And, um, you know, I finished, I finished editing the video because I didn't finish the project until yesterday afternoon. Like, that's when I was putting the first coat of finish on this. So I had to film that part where I put them in the drawer. That was after I finished them. Uh, I didn't start editing the video until yesterday evening, and I finished it around, I don't know, around 9.30. And all along, I was saying I could put it ahead to Monday. Um, because Monday is the new Sunday. <laughs> These days, right? Everybody's home anyway, so I could put it out on Monday. And um, maybe there'll be less content coming out. Because when I put up my video last week, <clears throat> I'm making the sharpening jig. A lot of content came out at the same time. A lot of videos. I guess everybody's got the same idea. They're going to put out more for the more, more viewers. I'm not changing anything. Okay? I'm going to still continue on doing the same things that I've done basically all along. And uh, because this thing is not really affecting me. Not in real terms, anyway. I mean, it, it affects me when I go out to buy food that, you know, some of the shelves are empty and I can't get some of the things that I want. Uh, like, for instance, the first two times I went to the supermarket after this thing started, there wasn't any meat there. So I started, like, I, I just opened an account to buy meat online and I got the first shipment about a week ago. And you know what? It's not bad. But uh, it's more expensive that way. But at least I'm going to get it. You know what I mean? At least it's going to come. So, steak is really good. Yeah, Sunday morning was my day to uh, <laughs> put out my videos on. And then I got a bunch of people, a bunch of interlopers jumping in. 
and putting out videos. Not that it hurt the performance of my videos. I don't know. For the subscribers, maybe it did because there was so much extra to distract them and they didn't see it. But eventually, you know, it's up around 200,000 views now, which is good. Now, I talked before about making changes to these clamps here, making them smaller. And I, I did that while I was making them. You can see the bar, well, first of all, shorter. But that's not the, the big thing. The bar itself is smaller, narrower, and a little bit thinner. And then the end is smaller as well. Like, if I hold it up to the other one, you can see the difference. And I thought that this would be a good move. And maybe it is, but I'm not convinced. I'm thinking that if you, even if you want to make them shorter, you're better off to make everything else this size because you're not really gaining anything here. My recommendation is if you want to make this size version of this, just shorten the bar. Like the bar on this is 16, the bar on this is 12. This one has like a, a, a six inch capacity, like a normal six inch clamp. And this one has a 10 inch capacity. So, yeah, pretty well set for clamps. So you probably won't be seeing another clamp build from me unless I can <clears throat> unless I can come up with a different uh, way of doing it, that's an improvement. You see, like I've made lots of clamps over the years, and every time I make a new one, I believe that it's an improvement over the old one. There are a couple of exceptions in there. There are a couple of experiments that I did, but I've, I think I'm at the... I think I'm at the point now where I've got a design that's that's truly worth making in this one right here. So yeah, the virus stuff is not going to affect me at all, other than, you know, slight inconvenience. It's not going to affect... I don't know, though. It might affect how much money I'm making from doing this. Because obviously I can still do this, but I don't know how much advertise because a lot of the money comes from advertising, right? And how much advertising companies are going to continue to do when they can't really sell the products that they're that they can't make. So I don't know. <clears throat> Eventually, I guess if it lasts long enough, it would have an impact. But for now, I don't think it will. So I'm just going to stay the course, keep putting out content. And, you know, not change anything. Maybe I should talk about other things that annoy me, because that was fairly popular in the last video. Um, you know when somebody's eating something, and they take a bite of it, and if you're watching them, you know, if you're standing there watching them, and they start making this mmm -hmm face, and then what really, like, that bothers me a little bit, okay? That's, like, pretty low on the bother, you know, annoyance scale. But it's when they start dancing around. Mm, 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 that's what really tips it over. <laughs> I gotta leave that. I gotta leave, I gotta leave the area. Okay? And so when someone breaks into song, that's another one. They start singing. <laughs> ah. Things that bother me about myself. All right? And that's one right there. Saying all right. Uh, I developed a, a kind of a habit lately of saying, of course, too often. And the continuing one is here, here or there. Ending a sentence with here. Look here, I'm, I'm working here. I'm going over there. So I was gonna say that the shopping bags will be banned within the next few years completely. <clears throat> Cause that was, uh, that's something that's being done in place, different places already. So. Seeing into the future, the, the brave new world we're heading into. Um, spearheaded by this stuff that's going on here. I'm not going to talk about it. I'm not going to talk about it in this video because people get too upset about it. I posted something on Instagram last night and I don't know. It seems like the same people that were, you know, getting religious about the climate change stuff have switched uh, over to this as their new doomsday you know their their thing to to believe in to get upset about when somebody talks about it 
Because you're not allowed to talk about anything anymore. You're not allowed to talk about things. People get too upset. You know? They want you to stop talking. They, it's not possible for them to stop listening. You have to stop talking. I just finished painting those ones that I sanded and I was walking out through the door when I saw this, um, which I found, well, I didn't find it. I knew it was there, but it kind of, I kind of remembered it when I stumbled on it out my backyard um, doing some yard work the other day. I was out cleaning up and, you know, getting rid of some stuff. This is a piece of OSP. Um, this looks like it's almost an inch thick now, but this is the 7 16 inch OSB that you, uh, you get for various stuff. And there's even mushrooms growing on the back. Um, and screwed to the face of it is a piece of that cement board. Okay, when I did my kitchen floor, I put down this cement board and I screwed it down to the floor underneath and I used drywall screws. And that gets to the point of this right here. The, um, the associate <laughs> at, the, uh, at the Home Depot, I bought the uh, cement board, said that the screws for the cement board were over there. So I don't know, it was 100, 100 in a box and they were like, I don't know, so seven or eight box. And I said, no, that's all right, I'll use drywall screws. Oh, he says, you shouldn't use drywall screws because they'll, they'll corrode away. There's a chemical in the cement board that will make the drywall screw corrode. They don't look bad at all. I don't even see any rust. I see a little tiny bit. And where they're poking through the back, I can see the tips. They look fine. So. Number one. I don't see, I don't see any problem with this at all. It's not corroded in any way. So this is outdoors, all right? Outdoors for six years. And, okay, this one has a little bit, but the threads are still there. It's just gummed up, that's all. But the threads are still there. It's still fine, it'll still work. There's nothing wrong with these screws. So that's outdoors for six years. Imagine being inside the floor where it's completely dry. What condition will be? So. Take everything that you hear with a grain of salt. You know, try to apply some reason to it. These screws are pretty tough. They use them to, to uh, fasten drywall to walls. And uh, there's no reason, like even if there was a chemical inside the cement board, it would take water, like it would take you know, moisture to activate it. And in the absence of moisture, you would say that the chemical would have no reaction. But even with an abundance of moisture, over a long period of time, they still held up. Look after Mr. Bond. See that some harm comes to him. <laughs>